Hi everyone, it's Mike here from Arnold Tutoring, and I have a question from a exponentials and logarithms uh, test. This is question number one, and it says state the horizontal asymptote of f of x equals 2 to the power of 3x minus 5 and why it exists. So, two part question here um, because you can just memorize sort of how to find the horizontal asymptote, that's one part, but you also want to understand it and so to be able to explain to the teacher, professor, whoever's asking the question, why this is the result. So, first of all, let's notice that this is an exponential function because our exponent contains our variable. So, we have this x variable, but it's in the exponent on the 2. So, we know it's an exponential function. Um, and then there's transformations that have happened to the base exponential function. Our horizontal asymptote for a normal exponential, so let's just say 2 to the x, so I'll call that normal or sort of a base function, is always the x-axis, and the equation of that is y equals 0. And the reason for that is because this function here can never be negative, right? It doesn't matter what x value you put in, whether it's positive, negative, or 0, the result is always going to be positive, and it's not going to drop. It's never going to hit 0 or a negative number. So that's why our, our base horizontal asymptote is the x-axis. The only thing that affects that is our vertical shift, which we can see is that is that negative 5. So the answer to our question is y equals negative 5. That will be the horizontal asymptote of this function. Again, if you were having to explain it, you could simply say 2 to the power of 3x can never be negative, because 2 to the power of anything can never be negative. So the lowest that will go is slightly above 0. Therefore, when you shift that down 5, which is what this minus 5 does, that's our vertical shift, that's also going to shift the horizontal asymptote down from 0 to negative 5. So that's a pretty straightforward way of doing it. Always look at that um, last value, that vertical shift transformation in your function, to find the horizontal asymptote.